Now, in this video, what we're going to look at is profit maximizing output. Now, a perfectly competitive firm chooses the output that maxes its economic profit. One way to look or to find the profit maximizing output is to look at the firm's total revenue and total cost curve. And this is what we have here. Now, this graph shows the total revenue curve and it also shows the total cost curve having this um, beautifully drawn blue total cost curve that I that I drew so what we want to find here is we want to find the economic profit right and doing that is actually really really simple so let me pick a color here how we find it is we pretty much just take the amount of the total revenue and minus the total cost amount so total revenue minus total cost is economic profit or economic loss now we can see that here at this point, we, we can see or we know that uh, that total revenue is 100 and uh, let's just give it some, first give it some, uh, give it scale dollars per day. So yeah, so here we can see that the total revenue is $100 per day. We also see that the total cost is also $100 per day. So. What we have here is total revenue minus total cost, which is 100 minus 100, and that will give us an amount of zero, which I, uh, which I indicated here with this black dot. So the economic profit uh, at four, four shoes per day is zero. Similarly, at point nine, um, we can see that, the, or at nine, nine shoes per day, we can see that the total revenue is above the is above the total cost curve so this is the difference and that is the amount of our economic profit so let's just say uh, for arbitrary numbers to make this easy that this is uh, $240 of total revenue per day $240 and the total cost is just really $200 so in that case, 240 minus 200 is really uh, $40 of economic profit per day. Now, once we increase uh, the quantities of shoes sold per day to 12, we can see that it goes back to uh, total cost and total revenue goes back to the same amount. And uh, in that case, total revenue is 300 per day and total cost is 300 per day. 300 minus 300 is zero. So we go back to the beginning. Now, from this, we can really draw a simple economic profit curve. And uh, taking into the amount of shoes sold when we uh, sell zero shoes per day, we can see that the total cost is actually above the, the total revenue. So we'll just arbitrarily put a negative, uh, a negative number there because that is economic loss. Uh, we aren't making any money, but it's costing us money, so there is a loss there. And we can see that above uh, above uh, more than 12 shoes per day, there is also economic loss because total cost curve here is above the total revenue uh, total revenue curve. So then, again, we'll just have an arbitrary point somewhere around here to show that we're going back to a loss. So in this case, we could just draw a simple curve like so to show our economic profit throughout, uh, show our economic profit according to how, how many pairs of shoes we sell per day. And uh, it's pretty, pretty simple. That's that. Uh, to make it more obvious, we can just highlight this to show the economic profit and loss. So let's not use blue. So highlight this. Good old leg. And that. And that. And that. To show the economic loss. And we'll use blue to show to show gains. So, yeah, so this would be our
economic loss, and I'll just abbreviate it to save me from writing writing so much. This is our economic loss, and this is our economic profit. Now, similarly, this is our economic loss, and this is our economic. This is also economic loss, and this is economic profit. And remember, economic profit or economic loss can be achieved from taking total revenue minus total cost. So what we see here is that at low output levels, the firm incurs economic loss. It can't cover its fixed costs. At intermediate output levels, the firm makes an economic profit. Now at high output levels, the firm again in incurs economic loss. Now the firm will face a steeply rising cost because of diminishing returns. So really, the firm maximizes its economic uh, profit when it produces nine pairs of shoes a day. And that's all I want to talk about in today's video. It's pretty simple. Uh, yeah, you can you can see that I wrote the same thing here, but I just forgot I wrote it. So yeah, that's all for this uh, video. In the next video, we'll talk about marginal analysis and supply decision. But other than that, please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next